Hello, everybody. Uh, I have a very special guest with me, a um, person you may not know of, but I'll introduce you to him anyway. His reputation goes far and wide. It's Steve Olson from WSO. Steve, good to see you. Good to see you, Wayne. Well, my friend, it seems like uh, you and uh, WSO have had quite an adventure the last 12 hours. And Steve, I'm a person who believes in justice. Justice is blind. Justice is not moved when the scales are being falsely impregnate upon, uh, put upon. So, Steve, I'm going to give you the format. This is your show. This is an opportunity for you to speak out, to tell people what's going on, how they can get in touch with you, and what are you doing, and what are your next plans. So, brother, you have the uh, floor. It's yours. Thanks, Wayne. Well, first thing I want to tell you is I have never been better spiritually in my life. Um, my, my grounding is solid. I have great trust in the creator right now. I have great trust in my friends and family and families and uh, wanted to wanted to first thing I wanted to say is that this attack uh, on our web channel, which they took down YouTube, they took down our WSO main website or uh, YouTube channel yesterday. And the first thing I need to let them know is it has not affected me at all in terms of my spiritual, uh, how I feel about myself, how I feel about the people around me. So that's number one. So that attack failed. Um, they profiled me, Wayne. They profiled my background, they did all kinds of stuff, and they thought that this would be a trigger for me to quit. Quit or even kill myself, I think, probably is what they were hoping for. Wow. But instead, what, I, what it really has turned into is, a, is just, like the, just like the Bible says, when the enemy means something for evil for you, if you love the Lord like we do, like the way we love the Creator and Father, is that um, it's going to work out for the good of all of us. And in fact, I think this is probably one of the best things that could have ever happened to WS, if you can believe it or not. So what happened, though, the technical details of it were that they started filing, uh, Scott Ferguson started filing copyright uh, strikes um, on photographs that he claimed that he owned, which we have proof, and we have, actually have a legal team in Minneapolis that have, have proven to us and to YouTube that those were not copyrighted photographs. So that was copyright strike number one. Copyright strike number two was from a fraudulent website. So basically it was an was was email account and person that was impersonating the Office of Naval Intelligence. That's a federal. Uh, fel that's a that's a felony. That is a felony, and I, I'm pretty sure that they engineered that attack from New Zealand so that they could avoid that type of prosecution. Well, 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 what they don't understand, Steve, is the Patriot Act. New Zealand is a co-patriot uh, signer of that. So if someone's in New Zealand thinking they can do these kind of stuff, guess what, folks? Interpol will get involved. But go on, Steve. I I, I interrupted my friend. So, no, that's all right. And then uh, Scott Sioni from the New Bureau Channel uh, 2016, um, who is also a great friend of our channel, he is also pursuing legal action right now through his legal teams in Minnesota. Um, so we're very, very well legally backed. Um, and so we don't think that the main site will be down very long, uh, the main YouTube channel. It, it, less than 10 days. 10 days or less is what we're, gonna, what we're estimating. So we think we're going to get the channel back. But in the meantime, we started a backup channel. I should have had a backup channel already. The, the irony of that was I actually had a uh, – back in, when I first started, there was a shill in um, Amari What the Fuck's Guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And uh, she, she pretended to be a friend and a Nibiru researcher and things like that, and I was going to give her my backup channel so that she could um, earn money from it because uh, she had a small child, she told me, and I was I kind of took pity on her. I said, well, why don't you do my backup channel? Any ad revenues that come in from that, I'll just give to you. Well, she then turned that into today, into the – into she took my backup channel uh, – uh, concept or whatever <laughs> to the negative and uh, they were actually having a party for having taken us down so celebrating and all that kind of stuff so it was really it was really the kind of the it's the kind of an ugly attack that tries to get you into rage it's the ugly attack that tries to get you into anger and hatred and again what I want to tell our enemies is that it didn't work I'm in peace and love I have pity for Mari I have pity for Scott I have pity for Dot I have pity for all those people that are opposing truth really because when you're searching for the truth with an honest heart, um, you tend to get led into truth, right? So if you got an honest seeking heart, it seems to that truth will come to you. And I think that our whole community of WSO was experiencing that, Wayne. I think we were experiencing that we weren't the crazy ones, that maybe we were the enlightened ones. Right. Maybe we were the ones that were sent here to help this planet by the Lord, by the Creator, to help this planet make it through this event. Yeah. And that's why, that's, why, that's why the forces of darkness don't like us. Yeah, just when I see these kind of things happening... Um... I just, I shake my head because, number one, if you are interested, have a belief or curiosity, a Nibiru, um, I don't understand where the competition is now, Steve. I, I, I thought that 
this was a community that was going to help build up the human race, prepare the human race. But I have seen uh, attacks on my channel. And listen, I am not a Nibiru researcher. I am a philosopher. That's what mm. I do. That is my heart's profession. I'm old enough now in life that I can get to do that. So there's nothing that I have to gain out of this. So I want to just put this out there, Steve, that I don't understand why the viciousness of the personal attacks. Um, this seems to have nothing to do with Nibiru, has nothing to do with the love of Jesus Christ. And I understand these people proclaim to be Christians, right? Yeah, yeah. yes, well, like, you know, the one that was love in the flesh, that one. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't understand how this, and then I hear uh, someone put a very nasty uh, one on mine, and it was like, well, we're here for the defenders of those who are fearful. You know, listen, I don't know what that means. If, I mean, I haven't yet to see anyone that's had a gun put to their head or forcibly uh, had to pay a ransom to watch your channel or any other channel. So I don't understand that number of one. And when I start seeing these self-appointed messiahs that are suddenly going to take up the cause for the righteousness of the person who is afraid, uh, that's when I start getting afraid. That's when uh, I get afraid too. Yeah. Yeah, Steve. So it, it, it becomes a problem because here's what I see, and I'll just lay it out there. Most of these attacks are nothing more than envy. That's all it is. It's jealousy, and it's small-mindedness, and it's childish. <clears throat> what does it matter what Steve Olson and WSO goes? You know, the great thing about these people don't understand is the Constitution. And they should take a good civics class, Steve, and begin to understand that in America, we cherish our God-given rights. And that is, is that we have the right to pursue happiness, life, liberty. We have a right to declare who we want to worship, how we want to worship. We have the right to make our own self to have free expression without rebuttal, without these kind of viciousness attacks. And it goes on from there. So freedom of religion, freedom of expression through thought and word. Where have, why is it that they want those rights, but you can't have them? Well, <clears throat> see, here's the thing about, uh, let's call it the opposing force, darkness. Okay, that which breeds fear, loathing, hatred, murder, all those things are what it lives on and breeds on and feeds from, okay? If you don't ever find that spiritual center in your life, you're absolutely, you're absolutely uh, vulnerable to them. They can, they, can, they can lead you in, you know, I think this is where maybe where the Bible writer was talking that they're tossed to and fro like a, like a, like a boat on the waves, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what all WSO wanted, wants to do is to show that, so, and, and, and listen, I've had I've people that are aware of what's going on that are Muslim, that are American Indian, that are original Americans, uh, people from all around the world, different faiths, different creeds, okay? But what we have in common is that we all woke up yeah. to an event happening, and then all of a sudden it turned into a, a truth thing. Yeah. And every time that we touch on truth, it's a damage, it's a damage point against them. So remember that the battle is about, it really ultimately, when you look at good and evil, it's not only love and peace versus hatred and all that, but it's also truth versus lies, right? Yeah. Well, you know, Steve, so, allow me to do what I, you know, I'm an ordained minister. Um, I've studied under yeah, some of the greats. You're more of a than me, so. so I just want to read this to all the Christians out there that are doing this persecution against you. And I'm going to read this. And it says, love endures long, is as patient and kind, Love never is envious, nor bowls over with jealousy. It's not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. It is not conceited, arrogant, and inflated with pride. In other words, if you think you have a victory and you're reveling in another man's destruction, how dare you? Let me go on. It's not rude, unmannerly. It does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own way, for it is not self-seeking. It's not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account and of evil done to it, pays no attention to a suffered wrong. It does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Love bears up under anything and everything that comes, is ever ready to believe the best of every person. Its hopes are faithless under all circumstances. It endures everything without weakening. Love never fails, never fades out, or becomes obsolete, or comes to an end. As for prophecy, the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose, it will be fulfilled and pass away. As for tongues, they will be destroyed and ceased. As for knowledge, it will be passed away, it will lose its value, and be superseded by truth. You know, I'll say this for the record, Steve. You're a good man. I know your heart. I have seen you. I've known you for 
quite a while now. I've never found any guile in you. I found no deceit in you. I have found that of a spirit of an explorer, one who is a seeker, one who never proclaims to know the truth, but one who's always seeking the path of truth. And to those detractors and those who would come against you and attack you, I would say this, be very, very cautious of that which you have put forth. Because in the law of the source of the universe, there is a principle that says, you shall reap what you sow. Steve, I have appreciated your time here. Now, there's one thing I want you to do. Please give people your website and how they can get in touch with you. So as this continues to write itself, they can have an opportunity to be in communication with you. Right, so um, I think you're going to put our new our backup website link, so that will be, I think, in your video today, right? Copy, correct. So subscribe, um, please subscribe, and then number two, um, WSO Live is live. Dot com, right? And we're, yeah, we're actually building our welcome page and a message about what happened on the YouTube channel right now, so that should be up later today. And, um, and I think that what really the big message is here is that we need to probably start accelerating people going to WSO Live, so we're not... <laughs> we're not uh, so exposed. And the other thing is that the thing that they're trying to hit to, Wayne, is the finances of WSO. Yeah, that seems to be a real sore spot with people that, uh, again, this is where the jealousy and envy comes in. But go ahead. Let's talk to that. Please address it. Right. Well, I can't do what I do um, unless my uh, unless my supporters support me, as you know. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I could easily go work and make $100,000 plus dollars a year. I, I'm a very skilled person in the IT industry, very skilled in project management, things like that. I can get a job. But my heart's not there. And I cannot fund the operation, the employees, the things that we're trying to do, the expansion of research, all of those things. I can't, I can't do that unless people support us. Okay. And so by taking the, you'll notice that the first web, the first um, web message that we did on YouTube for the WSO live, where we did the tutorial for people to get on the site and start using it um, for our founding members and so forth. That's the video. One of the videos they took down, they do not want WSO live to succeed at all. They know, I'm sure they did their, their research. They know that we have a content management engine behind it. So once we have everybody signed up, we're going to actually use our partnership with our members to expand the reach of WSO. We're just getting ready to turn on every social media platform. That's where we were in the process. So we're going to go from YouTube up to Twitter, Facebook, and start really bouncing that out. Well, it takes money to do that. I have to have people doing that for me. It takes money. My web developers cost money. <clears throat> so all I'm telling you is that they're trying to hit our finances really hard, and I sure. don't look, man. I have five hundred dollars to my name right now because they give away everything I get. I will say and, this: uh, I have known you, and um, the generosity uh, is uh, is a testament to itself. So again, it's it's accusers who know nothing of which they speak of. Right, and I'm living in a hostel right now for twenty five dollars a day. That's that's just so everybody knows that's what I'm doing right now. I'm living in this little beautiful room, beautiful people, by the way. Um, very spiritual people in Boise. So if you want a good place to stay in Boise, you guys need to email me at olson.steven.d at gmail.com. And if you want to want me to send you the link to the new site, also use olson, O L S O N, dot Steven, dot D at gmail.com. And, uh, and check out our, our backup channel. I'm going to be uploading videos there. I'm not going to stop making videos. Um, you know, we'll have another one today, another one tomorrow. Today, though, Wayne, before we jump off, though, I, I wanted to mention that the California earthquakes are quite severe. What's going um, on there, Steve? At that, you know, we have been yeah. anticipating this. So let's talk about this because our heart and prayers go out to the folks out there, number one. Yes. Uh, we know I haven't heard any reports of damage, but it was oh. deep uh, and apparently very severe off the coast, right? That's right. And and we're concerned about tsunami warnings, but mostly I'm concerned about the Cascadia fault line there, Wayne. It's right on the edge of that Oregon uh, yeah. Yeah. line. So, you know, I'm praying for you guys, but, you know, Use discernment and wisdom if you live in these areas, you guys, because I do believe that we're kind of in an in-game stage right now. Um, sorry for shaking my table. I do feel like we're kind of in an in-game stage, and that, I think that's one of the reasons why they're they're trying to punch all the whole Wormwood and River community down right now, because they do not want our voices to be out there saying, we can make it through together, because they want to control the dialogue yeah. as this gets worse. And I have a message, too, for, along that line. I, I really do believe that they're, they're going to try to take what is – a medium catastrophe and turn it into a world-changing event. That's what they want to do. They want to change this into an opportunity to control, and we just cannot let them do that. Amen. Amen. And listen, I think we just need to stop and just have a prayer, and everyone just simply stop a minute here. And <clears throat> to ever how you pray, um, what we need, we need unity. And 
I just pray to God. I pray for that unity to every person who's hearing our voice. That, 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 that sir, that the frequency, Lord, would just become focus, and that that we would emanate Your nature. That's a nature of love. That I seek not to harm my brother or sister. That I seek to be a support to them. And if I'm wrong, then I ask for forgiveness. And if they have harmed me, I forgive them. This is what you taught us. And this is what we put out today. And may we all join at this moment. May we set aside our differences, our egos, our, our point of views, and just look at one another and realize that you're a living being. You're my brother, my sister. I have nothing against you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May we just hold strong to that this day. Steve, that's the prayer I'm sending out. And I don't mean to be the last word kind of guy, Wayne, um, but do not hate our enemies, guys. Don't hate. Don't. Don't go there. Don't go to rage. Don't go to hatred to Mari and to Scott and to Daz and all those guys. Don't respond in hate. Respond in love. They, love they really they really do need, they need to come back to the light, man. They need to come back to the light. And every human being, I think, is going to have an opportunity to choose Wayne in the coming weeks and, and months if you're going to go to the light or to the darkness. And I encourage you to go to the light. I will let that be the final word, Steve. Thank you, my friend. You know you have my support, and I can tell you this. You have the support of tens of thousands of people. So we'll see you back up on YouTube soon, and we're going to see WSOLive.com, folks. Go there, sign up, get involved, support this man. He is well worth it. God bless you, Steve Olson. We'll talk to you soon, brother. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, I have a very special guest with me, a um, person you may not know of, but I'll introduce you to him anyway. His reputation goes far and wide. It's Steve Olson from WSO. Steve, good to see you. Good to see you, Wayne. Well, my friend, it seems like uh, you and uh, WSO have had quite an event in the last 12 hours. And Steve, I'm a person who believes in justice. Justice is blind. Justice is not moved when the scales are being falsely impregnated upon, uh, put upon. So, Steve, I'm going to give you the format. This is your show. This is an opportunity for you to speak out, to tell people what's going on, how they can get in touch with you, and what are you doing, and what are your next plans. So, brother, you have the uh, floor. It's yours. Thanks, Wayne. Well, first thing I want to tell you is I have never been better spiritually in my life. Um, my, my grounding is solid. I have great trust in the creator right now. I have great trust in my friends and family and families and uh, wanted to, wanted to, first thing I wanted to say is that this attack uh, on our web channel, which they took down YouTube, they took down our WSO main website or uh, YouTube channel yesterday. And the first thing I need to let them know is it has not affected me at all in terms of my spiritual, uh, how I feel about myself, how I feel about the people around me. So that's number one. So that attack failed. Um, they profiled me, Wayne. They profiled my background, they did all kinds of stuff, and they thought that this would be a trigger for me to quit. Quit or even kill myself, I think, probably is what they were hoping for. Wow. But instead, what, I, what it really has turned into is, is just, like the, just like the Bible says, when the enemy means something for evil for you, if you love the Lord like we do, like the way we love the Creator and Father, is that um, it's going to work out for the good of all of us. And in fact, I think this is probably one of the best things that could have ever happened to WSL, if you can believe it or not. So what happened, though, the technical details of it were that they started filing, uh, Scott Ferguson started filing copyright uh, strikes um, on photographs that he claimed that he owned, which we have proof, and we have actually have a legal team in Minneapolis that have, have proven to us and to YouTube that those were not copyrighted photographs. So that was copyright strike number one. Copyright strike number two was from a fraudulent website. So basically it was a, it was a, it was a email.